My name is David Mulder. I am a uh, on the Samba team and on uh, uh, at Sousa. I'm also a Samba team member in the community. Um, this is a project I've worked on for a couple of years, uh, it, uh, enabling certificate auto enrollment in Samba. Uh, uh, enrollment and renewal for certificates. This is a part of Active Directory. And, but uh, well, what is certificate auto enrollment? Um, the feature is new in Samba since 4.16. Let me. Okay. So certificate auto enrollment is a function of Active Directory certificate services. It's kind of a, a side feature um, that you can install as part of Active Directory. Um, it's kind of an older uh, thing for Microsoft, but it's still um, used quite frequently in, in Active Directory and in work environments. Um, it's enabled on host machines using group policy, uh, which is something that I added to Samba a couple of years ago, group policy support for clients. It allows users and devices to enroll for renewal of certificates automatically and there's no user interaction required. Normally, um, IT teams on a, a Linux host would need to manually monitor these certificates for renewal. Uh, and that's the advantage to having auto enrollment is that it um, renews them and enrolls them automatically without manual interaction on these hosts. As long as they're, as the host is a member of the, or the group policy. Of course, um, manual monitoring, the traditional approach, can cause uh, disruptive outages in your, um, in your environment. Um, of course, the reality is certificates will expire. And it's best to renew them sooner rather than later. And it's sort of like finding a needle in a haystack when you have thousands of machines to monitor. So. There are a number of proprietary implementations for Linux, and that was my motivation in writing this tool, actually. Um, I used to uh, work on one of these proprietary products, I won't mention which, <laughs> and I took part in meetings where they discussed that they would, that the, how they could incur or discourage people from using Samba because of this feature, <laughs> because it was not available, and this was their selling point. The, that certificate of auto enrollment was available in the proprietary tools, and you could not get it in Samba. So I fixed that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> kind of my history background is I, I started at SUSE, by the way, and then uh, I went to a proprietary tool for a couple of years and then came back. So how certificate of auto enrollment works in Samba, it has, um, these three components, the three important components that kind of work in tandem. So Samba GP update is uh, similar to the Windows GP update tool if you're familiar with group policy. It, uh, it reads from the, uh, the, the Windows sysvol to check, for, uh, to check if it's enrolled or enabled and then it copies the um, certificate server and template information from the sysvol and from LDAP, your LDAP configuration. Um, the CertMonger tool um, provides uh, a daemon which monitors the certificates for impeding expiration, expiration and refreshes them if necessary. Uh, Sepsis is a project, uh, it's a plug-in to CertMonger which implements the protocols to enable certificate enrollment and uh, certificate enrollment service. Um, these are services that are well defined in Microsoft specifications. Uh, I did not write Sepsis or CertMonger, uh, I just tied the pieces together into Samba and automated the, the parts that need, were needed for auto enrollment. So for years now, we have had certificate enrollment available, but it was a complex process. So what I've added is group policy auto enrollment, which makes it um, seamless. So I'm gonna show you a demo. It's just pre-recorded. I did that intentionally in case stuff messed up while I was working or doing it here. I've had that happen before. Certificate auto enrollment configuration first requires that the Windows Server Roles Certification Authority 
Certificate Enrollment Policy Web Service and Certificate Enrollment Web Service are installed. To configure the server, open the Group Policy Management Console and in the Management Editor, using the default domain policy here, under Public Key Policies, you've got this Auto Enrollment option. And you just have to set this to Enabled. And of course, check the boxes to Renew and Update Certificates. And that enables Certificate Auto Enrollment for a client. To do an advanced configuration, you go into the Certificate Services Client dialog and enable it. And by default, it will include the standard configuration, which is this configuration here. It dumps this as a key that refers back to the LDAP configuration. But then you can add more servers here to distribute policies to the client. I'm not going to show advanced configuration here. You should be able to see my terminal. And you can see that I currently have no certificates being tracked. And while it does have the, uh, this default sepsis um, the CA option here, the Samba's group policy will add additional CAs to this list for requesting certificates. And I'll show that to you. So if we do a... EP update, and first I'll do an RSOP. RSOP is a resultant set of policy. It displays policy that will be deployed and ha or has been deployed on a computer. Um, you'll see here that the auto enrollment um, extension detects that there is a policy deployed, and uh, this is the certificate. It's just a test server, so I don't care that you see that. And then here's the name of the test server, and then it also lists the templates that are going to be installed. And see the contents of the registry here. Oh, maybe I'll just open that. So we can see in the registry to pull file on the sysfall, there's this auto enrollment key set um, AE policy, and um, it shows that it's enabled. Uh, there's a flag set in there that says it's enabled. These other two we don't actually use, these other two settings. Um, this is the only one we really care about. If we did have um, advanced configuration enabled, you would see it down here, um, also under auto enrollment and then under uh, policy servers. So let's apply. We do support advanced I'm going to call a force on the Samba GP update command, which will force an, a reapply of policy. And installs just the server certificate. Now if we look at... Certificates, we have one certificate that's been um, deployed by our Active Directory certificate server service. And... Um, and it matches the, uh, the machine template was it supported. Now we could have well, multiple templates set up. We could have hundreds. There's, there's lots of templates that you can use. Um, and uh, the Microsoft provides like, uh, like preset templates that you can clone. It puts them and in these Samba directories. We look at the but it's similar CAs, to, to the correct location. You can see here distribution. that to CertMonger, We've added this certificate authority um, that provides uh, that uses the sepsis submit um, utility, um, which is the sepsis plugin to CertMonger, and it specifies the server that we're talking to and the authentication type that we're using. Okay, so we're about done here. Real quick, uh, it's available, like I said, in Samba 4.16, which so is on OpenSUSE 15.5, SLE 15 SP5. I also checked it's on Fedora 36 and above. I don't know about RHEL, I couldn't see their package details. Um, and then uh, Ubuntu has it in 23.10. So thanks, any questions?
Just for P, he asked uh, uh, where I can, you can find documentation. Yeah, there's uh, documentation. Uh, I have a ebook that I, I, I put up. It's available on. Uh, there's pointer. Uh, it's pointed to on the Samba Wiki. Uh, but it is, so if you go to the Samba Wiki and search for certificate auto enrollment, there's quite a bit of explanation just on the Samba Wiki. But there's also a link to the the ebook for group policy that has a little bit more detail. And then if uh, you find it lacking, just ping me and, or slap me while you're here or something. Thank you. <laughs> Any other questions? Okay, thanks.